Princess Beatrice's stepson's mother Dara Huang advises busy parents to lean on partners and mothers-in-law and delegate to nannies and cleaners as she reveals she worked on her due date. The mother of Princess Beatrice's stepson has advised new parents trying to balance work should lean on partners and mother-in-laws and delegate to nannies and cleaners. American Chinese architect Dara Huang, 38, who shares four-year-old son Wolfie with her ex-fiancé property developer Eduardo Mapley Mossi, 36, posted the pictures on her Instagram page yesterday. She revealed, On my due date, I presented a pitch in a boardroom of 15 men, AXA, the fund, and a hotel group, and I hid my bump under a giant scarf. Beatrice, 32, who is ninth in line to the throne and granddaughter of the Queen, married Ado in July becoming the only princess to marry someone with children and take on a stepchild. Meanwhile Dara also explained lots of new moms had asked her how to handle work-life balance. She said, my keys were, number one, surround yourself with support, nannies, other moms, your partner, a cool boss, clients who believe in you, your colleagues, your mom slash mother-in-law. It takes a village to raise a child. She continued, two, Learn to delegate. Get a cleaner slash a nanny or whoever who can multitask he cook slash clean, household errands, prepare baby food, don't be afraid to ask for help you do not need to do everything yourself. 3. Stop pressuring yourself to do everything perfectly, relax and don't forget self-care, sleep, exercise, healthy diet, to juggle these new challenges, lead and be a good mother you have have energy. Believe in yourself. You'll be tired but good news is it gets easier as they grow older. She added, working moms are the most efficient women in the world. Alongside the lengthy caption, Dara shared a black and white snap as she gave a presentation to a board table. Sources recently said Princess Beatrice is a doting stepmother who has put up loads of pictures of Wolfie in their home so he feels like he has two families. Insiders told The Telegraph's Camilla Tomini that the royal has been embracing her new role, saying, Beatrice ensured there are loads of pictures of him up in their house, so he feels like he has two families, and they do get on well. She has instigated a lot of that, rather than Dara. They claimed she has become a regular at collecting Wolfie from nursery and accompanying him home on his scooter. Friends of the royal said she talks about the youngster all the time and has warmly embraced him into her life. They added that he is super little and extremely cute, adding that Beatrice will always make Wolfie's happiness her number one priority even when she and Ada decide to have children themselves. In January, a friend of Dara and Ada insisted the estranged couple remain close, with Dara even cutting Ada's hair and occasionally buying him clothes. Their amicable relationship meant Dara was on the original guest list for Ada's wedding to Beatrice before the coronavirus pandemic forced the couple to cancel their May nuptials. Beatrice and Eduardo later secretly tied the knot on July 17 in Windsor, with the Queen and Prince Philip in attendance and Wolfie acting as best man. Dara and Ada dated for three years before splitting in 2018. Ada and Beatrice, who were longtime family friends, started dating in October 2018 and got engaged during a romantic trip to Italy's Amalfi Coast in September last year, after an 11-month whirlwind romance. When news of Ado and Beatrice's romance became public in December 2018, Dara's father Potien accused the royal family of helping to rob his daughter of the chance to walk down the aisle with Ado. Why would they want to go and break this up? The retired NASA scientist said. I can't understand it. It's not fair, but the royal family are very powerful. However, her father's apparent frustration did not result in Dara cutting ties with her ex-partner. Dara has recently found love again with 37-year-old London-based financier Philip Postcode Liz de la Morena, the sons of a Greek diplomat and a well-connected Spanish mother, according to the Daily Mail diarist Richard Eden. Philip Pose is also reportedly director of La Perla. Meanwhile Beatrice and Ado are settling into married life in London. Wolfie also plays an important part in their lives together in the city, with friends previously speaking of the good relationship Beatrice has with her new stepson. Music